Now the Sorgan Frey line, the Michael line, and the Space of Reels with the K topology have given us practice with topological invariants. In particular, we have used topological invariants to demonstrate that these spaces are not homeomorphic to each other or to the real line. And these spaces are also useful counterexamples in topology. For example, we know that every second countable space is also first countable and separable. The converse is not necessarily true. And the sorgen Frey line is a counterexample. Since the sorgen Frey line is first countable and separable, but is not second countable. We also know that every second countable regular space is normal. Again, the converse is not necessarily true. And the Michael line is a counterexample. Since the Michael line is normal, but is not second countable. Now path connectedness. which is a property that we have not yet studied, is a stronger condition than connectedness. Every path connected space is connected. Again, the converse is not necessarily true. And the space of reals with the K topology is a counterexample. as it is connected, but it is not path connected. OK, so new definition. Let y be a set. Let the collection of spaces x sub i together with the topologies tau sub i be a collection of topological spaces
and let the collection of functions g sub i be a corresponding collection of functions where the function g sub i is a map from the space x sub i into the set y for every index i. Then the topology mu on the set y defined by a set u is in the collection mu if and only if the inverse image of the set u under the map g sub i is in the topology tau sub i for every index i. This topology is called the final topology on the set y induced by the collection of spaces x of i and the corresponding collection of maps g sub i. So we will show that this topology satisfies the definition of a topology. Now since the inverse image of the empty set under the map g sub i is the empty set, and this is in the topology tau sub i for every index i, the empty set is in the collection mu, Oops. And since the inverse image under the map g sub i of the entire codomain y is the entire space x sub i, and this is in the topology tau sub i for every index i, the entire space y is in the collection mu. So let the collection of sets u sub j for j in some indexing set j be an arbitrary collection of sets in the collection mu. Then the inverse image under the map g sub i of the set u sub j is in the topology tau sub i for every index i and for every index j. Now since the inverse image under the map g sub i of the union of the sets u sub j is the union of the inverse images of the sets u sub j under the map g sub i, and this is a union of sets in the, the topology tau sub i for every index i and for every index j. The union of the sets u sub j is in the collection mu. So now let u sub 1 through u sub n be a finite collection of sets in the collection mu. Then once again, the inverse image of the sets u sub j under the map g sub i 
is in the topology tau sub i for every index i and for every index j and the range from 1 to n. Now since the inverse image under the map g sub i of the finite intersection of the sets u sub j is in the collection tau sub i. Correction is the intersection from j equals 1 to n of the inverse images of the sets u sub j under the map g sub i and this is an intersection, a finite intersection of sets in the topology tau sub i for every index i and for every index j in the range from 1 to n the finite intersection of the sets u sub j is in the collection mu and therefore the collection mu satisfies the definition of a topology Now the final topology is also called the inductive topology so as an exercise Let mu be the final topology on the set Y induced by the collection of spaces X sub I with topologies tau sub I and the corresponding collection of functions g sub i show that this final topology mu is the finest topology relative to which every function g sub i is continuous. Okay, so new definition. Let x together with the topology tau be a topological space. Let y be a set. and let the function g mapping the space x into the set y be a surjection the final topology mu on the set y induced by the space x and the surjection G is called the quotient topology on the set Y and the space 
y together with the topology mu is called the quotient space of the space x relative to the map G so notice that the quotient topology on the set Y is a special case of the final topology on the set Y that is induced by a single space and a single function g mapping the space x into the set y that is surjective. So the additional requirement on the function g is that it must be a surjection. So as an exercise, show that the relation sum equal defined by x is related to y if and only if g of x is equal to g of y where the function g induces the quotient topology on y is an equivalence relation on the set X. Again, the function G is a map from the space X into the set Y. And as a third exercise, let the space Y with the topology mu be the quotient space of the space X with the topology tau and let the collection script B be a basis for the topology tau show that the collection script C of all direct images of the set B, where B is an element in the basis script B for tau, is a basis for the quotient topology mu. Okay, so we'll end here for today. Next time we will continue to look at quotient spaces and we'll look at equivalent ways to define the quotient topology. So I hope you have enjoyed the 24th lecture. Thanks for watching.